on. Okay, so we are live on Facebook. Good morning, everybody. We hope you're doing great today. It's another beautiful day on the east end of Long Island. So today we're going to talk about LinkedIn. We're going to talk about how to manage your LinkedIn in 10 minutes a day. And LinkedIn is really a great platform for uh, business to business to meet other people. Good morning, Kels. Thanks for joining. It's a great platform for meeting other people, for creating connections. It's, it's really an amazing um, platform. And I have to say, as I was doing my research for this Coffee Talk Tuesday, I kind of got lost on my platform a little bit because I was really starting to make my profile better. I was adding things. Um, and you don't realize the power of LinkedIn until you really start to use it. So uh, good morning, everybody. Thanks for joining. So um, LinkedIn is kind of one of those things I know for me and I think for some other people too, that first of all, it's not a fast moving platform like Facebook or, or Instagram or some of the other social media platforms are. So even if you don't go on it that often, maybe once a week or once every couple of weeks, you know, you're not, well, I'd say once a week, you're probably not going to miss too much because it's not a super fast moving platform, but it's a very powerful platform. And if you're a premium me member, um, which is like what, five, $600 a year, you, it's really, really powerful. And it can be very worth your money um, for $600 a year. So what today we're going to talk about is how to manage your LinkedIn profile in 10 minutes, right? If you can only get on there, a lot of people go on every day. I don't. I'm lucky if I get on there once a week. Um, I will definitely be going on there more also because we're looking to hire. So if anyone knows of a digital marketer that has experience, especially with CRM experience, HubSpot, um, give us a call or send us uh, your resume info at starkmedianwide.com. Okay, so today, LinkedIn. If you don't have a profile and you're in the business world, you're gonna to wanna to make one. First, what you wanna do is, and we, we do this pretty much on all of our social media platforms, is you wanna define your goal for LinkedIn. You wanna you want to make sure that LinkedIn is the platform that you wanna be on, right? As opposed to another platform. It's gonna to have to serve you a purpose because all of these platforms do take time and you don't want to waste your time on something that's not going to reap some benefits. So make sure that you have defined your goals for LinkedIn. Um, what, what do you want to get out of LinkedIn? Is it connections? Is it business? Is it to hire? What is it that you want to get out of LinkedIn? And um, be sure that you don't waste time um, just searching on LinkedIn because that's pointless for you as well. So what you want to do is make sure that LinkedIn first is a good platform for you. Secondly, you want to make sure that if it is a good platform for you, that you have optimized your profile. Be sure to complete your profile, right? Be informative and relevant to the audience that you want to attract. Just don't go on and post your CV because that doesn't tell people much. That tells them what you've done. But that doesn't tell them what you can do for them. So be sure to go on there and really fill out your profile. I did notice that I was even missing some things in my profile and I went in and I put some more things on there. Um, make sure you have a professional or a really good headshot on there. Be sure to have a headline and a headline like, I do these things. I enjoy helping businesses do these things. This is what I'm good at. Something like that. Just don't, just don't write that basic like, oh, we're a blah, blah, blah company. That doesn't tell people enough about you. Um, complete the about section, tell them how you can help them populate your experience sections with descriptions for each role, really give definitions, right? Just don't be like, Oh, I was a digital marketer. Really tell them what you did in your digital marketing, um, complete your skills section and you can list up to 50 skills, 50 skills in your skills section. That's a lot. And then be sure to put in your education details. People want to know. All right, so make sure that your profile is business ready. Three, prioritize regularly engaging on LinkedIn. So this is just like any other platform. This is like just like what we tell um, our clients. You know, don't spread yourself too thin, but pick the, pick the platforms that you know are going to reap the benefits. And so if LinkedIn is a platform that you know that you will get benefits from, be sure to prioritize your engagement. And that's the point of just giving yourself like either 10 minutes a day or, you know, 20 minutes a week to go on and 
to go through your platform. Um, like I said, it's not a fast moving one, so you're not going to be missing a lot if you can only get on once a week. Um, so uh, what a lot of people do is even I, I'm I'm at fault for this too. You know, I'll be really busy and I will be able to go onto my LinkedIn platform, and then once I go on, I'm like, oh, liking and sharing and doing this and posting something. All of a sudden, I go dark for like a couple of weeks. That's that's yo-yo activity. That's not really effective for LinkedIn. You should really be much more diligent and go on once a week. What I do now when I go on. When I look, first I check my messages, right, to see who is messaging me, because that's really important. Then I check my notifications to see what's going on. And then I check, if you look at your LinkedIn, on the right-hand side, there's a box at the top, and it says, today's news and views. This is a great area for you to check, because it's really cutting edge what's going on in the news right now. Also, it's interesting articles that if they're pertinent to your business, you can share these. And you can share these with other people and, and gain engagement. So today's news and views are also another great thing to look at when you go on. Um, be sure to respond to your messages as necessary. Um, notifications is also a great place to trigger a conversation. Even it's like, because you'll get a notification of somebody's birthday or you'll get a notification of somebody's work anniversary. So these are great places for you to just engage with other people quickly and let them know you're, you're seeing them, you're thinking about them, you're reaching out and saying hello. Um, there's another thing that you can also check and it's called the daily rundown. Now, if you're not already getting that in your notifications, if you go into the search bar and you put in daily rundown and you follow it, you will then get that in your notifications as well. And that basically gives you what's going on today, the most important things when you check your notifications. It's another great thing to look at. Um, and when you and then the last thing I do is I go to my news feed and I check to see who's posting articles, what articles or um, posts in the feed are relevant to me or that I think are interesting, and I engage with them, like things, comment that comment on things, and engage with other people's posts. That's just as important as it is on other social media platforms. Um, next one you want to do is you want to share your content on LinkedIn. Right, you want to share things that are interesting, that are important, that you know other people are going to want to comment and share on. So, once you share your um, post, you'll also be able to see insights. So then you can see who's commenting, who's liking, who's possibly sharing. But also underneath your post, there's like a little graph, and if you click on that graph you'll be able to see what industries are looking at your post. Now, this is really important because this is going to tell you whether you're hitting the industries that are relevant to you. So if I'm posting things for social media and digital marketing, who's looking at my stuff? Somebody in, you know, um, you know, the medical industry, I don't, I don't need that, right? I need other people small businesses and people in digital marketing and people who are interested in digital marketing looking at my posts. So I'm going to be able to measure my success by looking at my insights once again. So you're going to want to look at that little graph underneath your post to see who's looking at your um, posts. And of course, if you have a premium, you're going to be able to get a lot more information on that. All right, so the fourth pro tip is to share your content on LinkedIn. You can share things too, like behind the scenes. You can share a pro tip. You can share a great TED talk that you thought was interesting. You can share something from your website. I mean, there's lots of things to share on there. You don't always have to be creating content. It could be just something that you find super interesting and relevant to your industry, and you can share that. All right, number five is you want to build your network, right? You just don't want to go on and look at other things, but you want to be able to reach out and start building your network. What I like to do is when I go to networking meetings and I collect people's cards, sometime that week I will go on and I will go onto LinkedIn and I will check these people and their LinkedIn pages because if I want to connect with them, most likely they're also going to have people that I want to connect with as well. So it's kind of like, you know, she told two people and she told two people, you know, your network's going to grow if you're starting to connect with people um, in your industry. 
So I always look up people that I meet and I'm, you know, if I find them interesting, then I'm going to reach out and message them and I'm ask them to connect. Um, also you don't be afraid to reach out to a profile that you like or somebody that you like. I mean, that's the point of LinkedIn is to make these connections or the best thing to do is go through their feed. If they have some, an article that you really like, comment on that article, let them know that you like that article and start a conversation or what you liked about that article. Start a conversation with this person. That's the best thing to do on LinkedIn and that's really gonna get you great connections. Um, and lastly, always measure your success. Like we said, the only way you're going to know if you're successful on LinkedIn, LinkedIn is you're going to see your connections growing. You're going to see your posts, more people liking, sharing, and commenting. And your analytics, you know, look at that little graph to see if um, who's looking at your posts. Is it people relevant to your industry and is it worth your while? So just as a quick review of what you should do when you go on your LinkedIn profile if you don't have that much time. When you first go on, of course, make sure that your profile is complete and looks really good. Check your notifications tab, check your messages, and respond as appropriate. Then you wanna scroll through the news feed and you wanna gather insights from your connections and the companies and individuals you follow and engage with content by reacting with shares and likes and comments, right? Um, then you wanna check your daily rundown, which I told you if you don't get it on your notifications, just put it in your search bar and then click follow and then you'll start to get it. Check the news and views on the right-hand side for relevant content to today and things that you can share, the latest business updates so you know what's going on in the world. We all seem to get you know, into our microcosm of our of our work and sometimes forget what's going on out there. And then you can share or use this uh, um, information as appropriate. Then don't forget, share your content with on LinkedIn, share with other people, be a voice, be somebody who they want to go to as a referral source, right? You need to be something, somebody that is a, um, not just a sounding board, but a, a wealth of information. People are going to want to start following you, engaging with you, and looking at your profile if you're going to be giving them worthwhile information. Uh, build your network by responding to invitations, sending out invitations, requesting, um, and connecting with people. And then lastly, review and analyze your analytics. That's what we say about every platform, right? You're only going to know your success if you're looking to see if what you're doing is working. Okay, guys. Well, thanks so much for joining me today. I hope this helped you with your LinkedIn profile. It definitely helped me with mine. I will put everything up on our private Facebook marketing group, Stark Media uh, Marketing Group on Facebook. So please be sure to join that because I put up all the steps here um, and how to in, you know, six easy steps. Um, define, uh, I use your LinkedIn effectively uh, each week. Be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter. We're here every Tuesday at 10 o'clock to give you guys tips and tricks on digital marketing. We hope that you really liked today and it was useful. If you have any questions, thanks so much. Um, if you have any questions, be sure to send them in to us, info at starkmedianny.com. And uh, you guys can always come by and visit 15 West 2nd Street. We're always here. All right. We will see you next Tuesday. Have a great day, guys.